Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another session of Life of Minecraft. It's been a fucking while since I recorded, but here we are. I have done a lot off camera. Um, I know last time we were doing like things with these little like new stuff that they added to Minecraft, like the stone cutter, the loom, all that crap, and even the lanterns. That's cool. So that's changed. Um, I also have been mining, as you can see, a lot of materials. I went down here and I did a lot of mining. Um, my levels are down, as you can see, it's as well. Um, I got some new stuff. I finally freaking have a silk touch pickaxe. Like, I've been wanting for how long now? Like, what the fuck? So, I finally have that. Um, also, as you can see, I have bamboo and I made scaffolding out of it. Um, because thankfully, I finally have it. Took so long just to get it. Let's see. Oh, no. Get on the horsey. Okay. Um, but yeah. And as you can see, I have a farm of it now. Wow. Hold on. Of course, he's really dumb and doesn't know how to run. Wow. Now I have a boom... A, a boom boo, really. A bamboo farm. That's great. Um, we got that going. Um, wow. Pretty. Um, oh, no. I didn't mean to get off, horsey. Uh, there you go. I was like, how do I get on horsey again? Um... <laughs> Ouch! Yes, I also have these bushes. They they grew and I placed them everywhere. Um, and also, as you can see through here, I have llamas because a trader came to my village once, out of nowhere, and um, I kind of murdered him and <laughs> took his uh, llamas from him. So, and then I just breeded the llamas over and over and over again until I got you know these guys right here. So that's great. Now we have llama ahoy. Um, I'm gonna have to make a pen specifically just for them because I mean there's too many llamas. Where did my horse go? Horsey <gasps> <gasps> There's creatures inside my freaking Where's my horse? This little slut horse Where did this horse go? How did you get all the way over there? Okay, I I'll, I'll deal with you later. Right now, I have mobs in my house, and they're not appreciated. Get out of my house. Who said you could be in here? I hear a lot of Shigong Mots. Are these the ones I'm thinking of? I did have a villager disappear on me. I found one, and I turned him back to normal. He was over there. And then I brought him all the way over here, and I put him down here, but... Where did he go? Oh, I forget. Yeah, I added this little thing, so I... Um, we have this little room here with all this cool stuff, cool new stuff, um, and, yeah, I mean, I, um, oh, I never showed you the finished, like, jail, oh, that, oh, hi, how are ya, um, yeah, but that's this area here, spooky noises, um, I did trap these are one of the pillager guys in here, but like he despawned, so that sucks. Uh, hey, I gotta be wary about this area because sometimes there's mobs. Because I don't know where. It, I, do you see how many torches I have down? But I guess it's not lit up enough still. So there's mobs somewhere. I just gotta check around, and be sure that I don't get killed. Cool. We're good. Now, where are these freaking villagers? Because I had one down here. He was an armorer. I think probably because I had this in the way or something. Or maybe an anvil. I don't know. But he spawned in as an armorer when I turned him back to normal. And then, um, this guy's still here. Shut up, Mama Nuke. I hear two futiris. Where are they at? Because I know I have one upstairs in the kitchen. But I have to have a second one, don't I? Hmm. Make sure there's no mobs in here to kill me. So there's him. Um. Alright, well then what about out here? In my bedroom area. Hi, Bepis Bear. We have a silk touch pickaxe. Now we can make you your little enclosure eventually. Out of ice. Is Baba Duke in here? Is he in here? I better be careful, because actually I had a creeper in here once. And it scared the shit. I, mean, I had a heart attack. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. I couldn't breathe. So I ran back out. I cannot believe there was one in my bedroom. Are you kidding me? 
I hear like three of them, I think. Don't I? Because I know I hear the one in the kitchen. But where's the other one? It might just be him. Yeah, it might just be him. No! You mother frickin' creeper. <sighs> of course, why not, right? I love fixing after creepers. Totally my favorite activity. 10 out of 10. So fun. Wonderful. Awesome. Great. <laughs> I just love fixing up after them, you know. Okay, give me my dirt. And we're just going to hollow this out. I don't really care. I still won't even have enough. I can tell. And... I guess I did, actually. Wow, lucky me. Um, What I wanted to do in this episode... Yes, 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 yes. I remember now. Um, Just a small collection of things here and there. So one thing, oh, I saw this really cute idea I wanted to do, so I did that, um, is I have this in here. I, I challenged myself. One night over there in that area, there was a whole bunch of skeletons, and there was a creeper, and I tried to get them to kill the creeper, and they did. And um, when they did, I got a disc, and I want to make a freaking, whatchamacallit out of it, hold on, a jukebox. It goes in the middle, right? And then you just go like this. Yeah, jukebox. Hell yeah, beach. Okay, where are we going to put this? Let's put this in my house. Also, if you're wondering, I got this bell through um, that armorer guy. I did a lot, of, a lot of trading with the guy. And he gave me bells. So I have five more. I actually donated one to the, um, the village way over there. So they have one now too. Since they spawned in previous to this update, they didn't have all the new stuff that a village can have. So... Um, I donated them one, kind of just like that, both in stone bricks. Uh, mine's just cobblestone because it kind of fits the theme around here. Um, let's see. Now this, I want, let's put these away. I don't want that there. Um, the scaffolding I made for a specific reason. One, for like future building stuff. But like two, um, since that guy despawned down there, or a little prisoner, more spawn on top of the roof and i had to sit there and figure out how to use these i was like you know what let's figure out how to use these so i did it went like this and i was like you know what i'm gonna go up there and i'm gonna beat their ass and that's exactly what i did i came up here and i was like pow, 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 pow. they love spawning up here i don't know why okay that makes me wonder though if i built in like an actual skyscraper would they really spawn at the very top if it was flat enough you know there we go. Be careful with these because they break so fast. Like, no kidding. Like, literally. Oh, that happens too. That's one thing as to why these suck so bad. Oh, these are so hard to use. Okay. I got it. I should have 12. Ooh. Yeah, careful because they can break so fast that you can break your foot. So try not to do that. There we go. Cool, we got it. Um, let's place this bad boy over in this area. Uh, right here. And let's play it. Oh, it's the creepy one. Wow, it's the creepy one. I don't know if I'll get like a copyright thing for that because it's made by C418 or C412, right? Yeah, it's made by C418 triggered. Like, shut up, YouTube. Fuck. You get everyone in trouble for everything. So that's there. Um, I guess I should make a chest right next to it. So if I ever get any more discs, I can um, just put them in there. Kind of like it's um, how some can store multiple discs. That's how that one would be. So we could go like that. Um, definitely when I'm off camera, I'm going to try to do that again. Because that was really cool. Trying to like get um, a whole bunch of those. Um, we have string. We should make some of the, some more of the scaffolding on camera. Do this. I love that it comes out by sixes like that. Now we have 24. We can get 48. Or sorry, 36. It goes by 12, I guess. When I do doubles like that. So 12. Another one. Let's at least try to get a whole stack. I love how little string it takes. Like, you think it takes a lot of string, but no. 
Not really. 54, 60, and if we did another one, it'd be uneven. Cool. Now we have these. That's great. That makes building a lot easier. Um, yeah, I've been killing a lot of skeletons, getting random bows, so that's great. Can't really do much with them right now. Um, do, do, do. What do we have on our bow, actually? Actually, hold on. We have power four. Run. Come on. Do you see why I use control? I hate W. It doesn't work too much sometimes. Power four, I'm breaking three. It's exactly the same thing I have on this one. But if I combined it with this one. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to repair my bow. Here we go. And here. It does repair it, actually. It costs two enchantment, and then to do this. Oh wait! If you combine these two power fours, it becomes power five. <gasps> no wonder it's level fourteen. That's amazing. Keep this in here. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Um, let's put it in here. Yeah, this is all the stuff that he traded me uh, for emeralds. So I had to go to the village and like trade other things to get emeralds and then trade back. So, yeah, very expensive. But you know what? It was great. It works just fine. Let's go through here. Um, so cool, we have a cute little jukebox now. Um, I'm keeping this guy in here because he likes to go out here and like walk around and there's so many zombies that come here. Um, my difficulty as you can see is, where is it at? 1.26. It says day 25, it just keeps getting mixed up, but um, yeah, 126. So the area is pretty difficult. You there, horsey. Where do you think you're going, you little slut? Jump on him. Okay. Um. Bing. There we go. Uh, so what I want to do today... What do I want to do? Hmm. Hmm. I had a journey in mind, but I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, for one, I think I can do some more building stuff to this place because it needs some help. Get this lead out like this. And tie you up there, horsey. There you go. Stay there. Um, Baby B, I made a little more secure enclosure. So, I mean, Baby B can totally get out of here like this, but doesn't want to. Like, he thinks it's very comfortable in there now, so that's fine. Well, yeah, I've been staying up lately to get phantom membranes, so now I have phantom membranes. So, Staying up isn't too bad anymore. I used to think it was more scary, but I'm like, no, actually, the phantoms are really slow and don't even try killing you that much. Um, I did waste a lot of my enchantment levels on the, the picks and stuff like that, but I also did this, which I thought was amazing. Um, I have a lot of cool stuff in here, but I can't really use any of it right now just because I have fully enchanted stuff or I don't have the tools for it. Like, I need to go find a trident. That's one thing we should do is go find a trident from a zombie. Um, oh gosh. Let's see if I can find that. Because we don't get any in the swamp. So let's see if we can go out to where the desert is. And find some water that a drowned might be in. I think we might have to go towards where the snowy area is. Because they generally tend to be over there. Yeah, if my world doesn't load like that, that's not too unusual. I'm telling you, the more I go out to explore further and further every time there's an update or like I'm looking for something like bamboo, I have to go thousands of blocks out and this is what happens. My world is just too loaded. Too, too loaded. There we go. I made this bridge, by the way, off camera. It was pretty fun. So, should have done it as an on-camera thing, but it, it would have taken too long getting all the acacia, bringing it over. Oy. Ooh. Oh, I thought I drove off. I mean, drove off. I thought I rode off the edge with the horse. Okay, this way. Drowned are definitely gonna be way over here. It, no, the desert feels way smaller now that I have like structures I've built. Cause look, here's this area where the little fountain was. Let me come over here. And then we jump over this little corner. Go up. And then the village is just over here. Nay. 
come on, such a slow horse.